In this episode, I'm gonna make a really lovely red mullet dish. It's one of my favorites, especially in the summer. At the beginning of the summer when the asparagus is good, you know, with lots of chili and lots of orange in there. It's got Asian twist to it, but it's quick, simple, and you can do it within less than half an hour. It's a restaurant quality dish that you can cook from home. Let's get cracking. So the first thing we need to get on with is the red mullet. So what I've got here is a beautiful sized little red mullet. Um, it's been gutted um, and already been scaled. Um, and I'm just gonna fillet it off. So what we're looking at with a fish this size is a nice flexible knife. Um, make sure you check you know, the, your gills and your eyes. You know, what nice clean eyes and nice fresh red gills. Um, and then really what we're looking at is nice firm textured fish as well. So first thing you need to do is sort of come and cut towards the head at an angle, flip it over, do the same the other side. And you're just coming underneath those uh, fins there on the side, okay? And then along the backbone from the top, hold the fish nice and secure, and then just run your knife all the way down. And the good thing about a fish this size, it's probably the best sort of size fish to practice on if you're feeling a little bit sort of worried about doing it. So smaller the fish, easier to fill it, and good, a good place to start. So just make sure you run along that fillet, making sure that your knife is always touching and feeling the bone, okay? And then release the tail, and then through the rib cage and there you go, one fillet, and then flip it over. And then this time we go from the tail to the head, all the way along the backbone. And then as, once you've made your mark, just run the knife along, turn the fish around so you can see where you're actually filleting. Release the tail and then come up through the ribs. Okay, and that's it. So I'm just gonna trim the fish up now, make sure there's no extra bones or um, any scales. Always wipe your knife, get rid of any of that extra sort of uh, bone. So off with the ribs, bring the knife down, trim that off. Just cut there and there one fillet and do the same again on the other side. Check for bones along the rib. Trim it off. Just cut where the head, the head end, trim that up and then the tail end. And with little, with little fish like this, you will have some pin bones. So the best way to do it is get some of these little uh, little pin boners you can get from uh, good kitchen shops, and some water, cold water, and it's using your thumb. You can just feel along the back there and pull out the bones, like that. Now, if you don't mind um, heads and bones, you can always just cook this whole and bake the fish in the oven. You know, a nice uh, fish this size that we've just got here will take about six to eight minutes in a hot oven about 220, um, and you could cook it that way. Or even better, if you're feeling adventurous, you can just dredge it through some flour, um, whole, um, and you can deep fry it. And that's a technique that um, you see a lot in, in Asia. But this time I'm gonna show you how to pan fry it. So no bones in there. One fillet, and then the second one. You need to caress it as well. Don't make sure it's like, it's almost like a baby. Just look after it. It's very fragile. Other fish that would work for this dish really well. Um, something a little bit unusual and a little bit more sustainable like a gray mullet would be brilliant. Um, works really, really well with oily fish like mackerel and sardines as well. So if you wanted to, you couldn't find red mullet at the fishmongers, then maybe you know, try one of those species instead. And there you go, there's the, uh, that's red mullet fillets 
no bones, just trimmed ready for the pan. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to make the salad. So we're gonna start off with making the dressing first. Um, so this dressing is quite a zingy one. Uh, you know, this is a dish that's got slight influences from Asia um, with the chili and the orange, coriander and mint. Um, and I think, I think it's really good when you've got asparagus in season. So we're gonna do some boiled asparagus in there as well. So I'm gonna take half a red onion and I'm just gonna slice it as finely as I can. Okay, put that into the bowl. The next thing I'm gonna to add to the bowl is I've got a red chili here. Now this is one of those dishes, I'm a bit of a fan of heat, so I'm gonna put the seeds in there as well. If, you, if you're not you know, up to the heat, then just sort of take the seeds out, but I think this is a really good dish to sort of keep those chili seeds in. And again, slicing the chili as finely as I can. If you wanted to, you could use a mandolin, um, but I think you know, it's a bit dangerous to do a chili on a mandolin, so it's best off using a nice sharp knife. The chili in with the red onions. Okay. So the next thing we do is we're going to take an orange and we're going to add with a microplane, just going to zest into the onions and the chili. And then I'm gonna just segment the oranges as well. Make sure you do the zesting before you do the segmenting because it'll be very difficult to, uh, to, uh, to microplane without the zest on it. So just run your knife around the orange. You know, following the shape of the orange, you'll get a nice segment. What we're looking for is a nice orange, you know, we get all the pith off, because that's the bitter part. Once you've got all the pith off the orange, just follow the lines exactly where they are and then just go each, each side of them and the orange just comes off like that. And that way you've got a nice orange segment, no pith, no membrane. If you haven't got an orange, this will work really well with pink grapefruit or lemon segments. Yeah, with the lemon segments, go a little bit steady though, because it's a bit more zingy than that. So, but pink grapefruit will work really well. And then a little bit of the orange juice. All right, just clean down the board. Okay, so into the dressing, we've got so far some red onion, we've got the segmented oranges, orange zest and orange juice, and a little bit of the chili with the seeds in. So the other part of this is making the actual salad that goes with it. So I've got some asparagus here, which I'm I've already got some boiling water that's been salted, and I'm gonna put those in and give them about four minutes. Whilst the asparagus is cooking, I'm just gonna finish the dressing off. So I've got a little bit of, um, I've got a little bit of Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna just put in about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Two spoons of honey. And give everything a little bit of a mix. And then some pepper. You won't need much because you've got the chili. 
little bit of salt. And then I've got here some, um, here I've got some really nice extra virgin olive oil. So probably about four tablespoons of olive oil. Just give that a bit of a mix. Push all the onions and the chilies down into the dressing. And then what that's gonna do, just whilst we're waiting for the asparagus, that's just gonna let that all mingle together and let all them flavors start making friends. Okay, so the next thing is to get your herbs ready. I've got some mint and some coriander. With the coriander, I don't mind keeping the stalks in. You know, some of the thicker stalks I'll get rid of, but the, uh, the thinner ones are very nice in there. I think there's a lot of flavor in the stalks. If you didn't have uh, mint and coriander, basil would work really well with this dish as well. Mint, you just need the leaves. The stalks on the mint's not very nice. So you get that ready on your board because that's going to go in the dish at the end. Okay. So the asparagus now is going to be ready. So the way to check that is just to give it a bit of a prod. And I know that's ready. We're just going to put that into the dressing. And then just mix the asparagus through the dressing with the chilies and the orange and the red onions. I'm just going to put that to one side while I cook the red mullet. So to cook the red mullet, we need to get our pan on. So we're just going to put that onto sort of a halfway heat, so medium, not too high, not too low. And we're going to cook the red mullet in a little bit of neutral vegetable oil. We're not looking for flavor from the oil, so we'll just keep it nice and natural. At the last minute, because these fish fillets are so thin, is when you season it. If you, feel, if you uh, season fish too early, the actual salt will start to cure the fish and actually change the whole sort of texture of it. So make sure you always season thinner fillets of fish at the last minute. Touch of pepper. Okay. So gently lay the fillets into the pan. Always go away from yourself so that the fat doesn't splash towards you. And hold the fish nice and firmly, lay it into the pan and away from yourself like that. Now what we're looking for with this fish is not to have crispy skin. We want a nice bit of color on the skin, but we don't, we're not after that, that crispiness that you sometimes you get from, from certain species. With a red mullet, it'll be, you'll overcook the fish trying to get the skin crispy. So just get it nice and colored and concentrate on cooking it nicely and making sure you don't touch it. You, know, you see sometimes a lot of chefs prodding the fish and pushing it down with spatulas and you know, putting things on top of it. You don't need to do that. Just leave it and let it do its thing. It's quite happy in there. The fish will take about three or four minutes, okay? But while we're waiting for that to cook, we're just gonna finish off this salad with the herbs. We've got the mint and the coriander. So the mint, we need to go quite fine, just purely because it's quite a woody herb, okay? So I'm just gonna run through that carefully, making sure I don't cut my fingers as finely as I can but I still want to see mint in there, so I'm not going to chop it, I'm just going to slice it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of chopping herbs. I like to slice herbs. If you chop herbs, you chop all them, all the flavor and the essential oils go into your chopping board and don't go into your food. So just got that mint nicely chopped, that's going to go into the salad. And 
and then just run through, because this coriander is quite a soft herb, I like to see it almost like a salad leaf, so I don't chop it too fine. I just leave it quite rough. Okay, so with the fish in the pan, what you'll see is it starts, red mullet starts to release almost like its own fat and it's this lovely sort of orange color. Once you see that, just baste that over the top of the fish. And then once you've got a nice golden color on the side, turn the heat right down and just let, let the residual heat of the pan cook it. Okay, so the way you know that the fish is starting to cook is it goes from this sort of opaque, sort of pink colour to the water white, very brilliant white colour. And what you can see, if you look on the side of the fish, you can see that it starts to get whiter and whiter. When it gets to about three quarters of the way up, you want to turn the heat off completely. And then using your spoon or spatula, just flip the fish over. Okay, the residual heat in that pan will finish the fish off. So while I'm waiting for that to finish, I'll just start to plate up this dish. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix the salad together. Get myself a plate. And then Lovely asparagus. Okay. And then just check the fish, but it, it will be ready. Just remember that with fish, it will continue to cook for like three or four minutes after you take it out of the pan, okay? Now, most importantly, if you've kept the temperature of this pan right, the secret ingredient of red mullet is this lovely fat that you get in the bottom of the pan. Don't lose that. Get that into your dressing. There's flavour. Okay, then we're just going to mix that all together. And then just, the last thing we do is just spoon dressing over the top. And there you have it. That's my pan-fried red mullet with asparagus, chilli and orange salad. Mm -hmm.